Welcome back. Now, the resignation of the Palestinian Interior Minister is cause for concern not only in Gaza, but in the West Bank as well. That territory is much calmer. But when we asked people in Ramallah what they thought of the renewed battles in Gaza, their reaction was one of frustration. It hurts me much to see our people in Gaza fighting this way. This is unacceptable at all. Palestinians should concentrate on our case, which is Palestine and Jerusalem. And at the meanwhile, they are they are taking us to another level, to another stage that we don't we don't want to be there. I think the two uh, parties, uh, Fatah and Hamas, is fail, and uh, I think it must be a new uh, election. If there is a no election, must uh, drop the Palestinian Authority. The problem with what's happening in Gaza is not being, it's a chaotic situation. It's, it has nothing to do with the major factions. It has to do with little factions here and there and, and families here and there. It, it's, 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 uh, it's not between the big factions because the big fashion, faction also, they think they, they solve their problem by, by this Mecca agreement, which I don't think it will last long because uh, it has been really superficial and not so deep and uh, uh, you can interpret it in many ways. I think that the unity government should do uh, many things in order uh, to succeed and uh, practice uh, Mecca agreement. Uh, I, I hope this uh, will end as soon as possible uh, and I hope that the Palestinian leadership uh, will cross uh, this crisis uh, and wouldn't, wouldn't have its influence on other facts on the ground. Uh, I think well, the clashes going on in Gaza, it's uh, extremely sad and it will affect uh, the unity government in a negative way. Um, the continuity of it will uh, maybe at a certain point uh, lead the government to collapse. Well, we're joined now by Dr. Mahdi Abdul Hadi in the West Bank. He's the head of the Palestine Academic Society in Jerusalem. Uh, Dr. Hadi, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us. Why do you think Hani al Qawazmi resigned uh, and how much of a setback is this for the unity government, do you think? His resignation was there a long time ago. It seems to me that he was not the man for the job. He could not meet any expectation. He was trying to balance his relationship between not the faction, but those who are governing the society of Gaza on the ground. And he failed to build any bridges. And he kept on blaming the president as well as the prime minister and later on on the factions on the ground that he needs authority, that he needs power. I don't think an employee, a follower, can function as a minister of interior. I think today Gaza needs not a, an employee, not a minister. Gaza needs a hero, somebody who's willing to lead and to pay the price for leading and accept the consequences. If today Mr. Hani is an acting minister of interior, willing to take that responsibility of being a hero, i.e. go and liberate the uh, British journalist Alan Johnson today. Go and withdraw all the guns and the arms from the street of Gaza. Unify all the forces. Then he will be the hero. Then he will be the address, not only for Gaza, okay. for a new phase, for a new chapter of Palestine. OK, let's just stay with Ismail Haniyeh for the time being, because uh, he's obviously now uh, in charge of security in Gaza. But one of the cornerstones of the Mecca deal was to have independence run the most powerful uh, Gaza ministries like uh, the Interior Ministry, Finance and so on. Uh, so how controversial will this be? Because he's Hamas, isn't he? No, we have to read carefully what happened in Gaza, in, in Mecca. Mecca was a declaration of principle. It was an agenda where Fatah and Hamas accepted to stop the bleeding, to share political power, and to take the full responsibilities of governing together. That agenda was not implemented. It was left only for those who signed Mecca Declaration and could not reach the constituency, not in Gaza nor on the West Bank. That's why we witness frustration, anger, clashes, confrontation on all the levels on the occupied territories. Mahmoud Abbas did not travel to every city, to every town, not to promote the Declaration of Principle, but to convey the clear message of sharing political power between Fatah okay, and let me, Hamas. Let me just ask not you, though. even the Revolutionary Council of Fatah. OK, let me just ask you, though, uh, Dr. Sorry, Hadi, because ahead. many observers say his resignation highlights the deep rift between Fatah and Hamas uh, and the security forces. And they say, though, that the real strings are being pulled by President Mahmoud Abbas and his security adviser, Mohammed Dalin. Is that how you see it? 
Well, believe it or not, up till this very moment, everybody has the guns and has the funds and has his own agenda. And the clashes never stopped since Mecca declaration. It was given a different name, families, claims, uh, relations, neighbors. But basically, it is between the executive forces of Hamas and the presidential 417 and others by Fatah people. The agenda could not close the gap between both, not in, in Mahmoud Abbas' agenda, nor in the prime minister. Today, the challenge is for Ismail Hani to take that full responsibility by unifying all these forces, by looking for a new agenda, not a small arrangement here or there, troops here or there. If we will come with an agenda for all the factions, for all the militia, whether family or Fatah or Hamas or others, to melt in a system for National Guard, for Palestinian National Guard, unifying force, unifying uh, uniforms, uh, programs, training, salaries, high ranking, and the loyalty for Palestine and not for the faction, we will be much better off than the, it is today. What you are witnessing today, training for different factions, funds for different rules, uh, smuggling guns and funds here and there. There is no system governing the territories. The authority is is in a, in a name, not on a reality on the ground. That's why the Israelis were very smart enough to say, halt any invasion to Gaza, halt any interference okay. in Gaza, let the Palestinians kill themselves in Gaza. Okay, all right. Dr. Mahdi Abdul Hadi in Ramallah, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us. And thank you so much for joining us here on this edition of Inside Story. We welcome your comments and suggestions. Please email them to us at insidestory at aljazeera.net. From the entire team here, goodbye for now.